Hello there! It is now time for a Taurus Pisces Love Connection reading. And you know how we do this. Taurus, past, present, future on this side. And Pisces, past, present, future on this side. If you connect more with one side than the other, please do flip those energies. All readings are timeless. So what might you see, what you might see now might not occur until a little while later or might have already occurred. We'll see. We'll see what Spirit says. Please help us. Communication with Spirit and Pisces. Big Spirit. One more time. Absolutely. I do love Taurus Pisces. Let's see. Taurus Pisces, come through. So Taurus, in the past, you were about the moon, Piscean energy. There you go, about Pisces. Pisces, you were about getting out of your worries. You were getting out of your own way, I hear. You were getting out of your own way, and um, you had gotten into this, I hate to say like a funk, about looking more negatively at life than positively. Let's continue. The present energy of Taurus towards your Pisces, it's the Page of Swords. You're having a look towards your Pisces, but you're not letting them know. Uh, Queen of Wands for Piscean energy presently. You're getting your groove on, Pisces. You're getting a groove on. You're, you're beginning to understand what it is inside of you that motivates you when you... Uh, okay. Um, for some of you, your heart is mending and you're getting ready for love again. Pisces, in the future, we're about the seven of wands in reverse. I'm no longer going to have to defend myself. Um, I've been through a lot, but I'm no longer defending myself. I'm, I'm putting my best foot forward. Taurus, future energy is nine of pentacles. I love it. The card of increase, pre-empress energy. At the bottom of this deck, informing the energy of this read is the Empress. So, pregnant with possibilities. There are so many things that are cap are, how what are you saying to me? My spirit guide just speaking. So many paths are opening because of the potential, okay, keys, the potentiality that love emits. So, just like the rays of a sun, they, they um, arch out. And those are potentials for you to feel the sun. Same with love, especially Piscean. I see here, you're you're gaining. I uh, hear Stella got her groove back. Ah, oh, Taurus. Okay, five of cups. Let's understand it a little bit more. Devil in reverse. Okay, pure corn energy and King of Swords. So in the past, Taurus, it was. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to say it like this. It, it, it's a generalized reading. Not everyone is going to understand this. You have um, this energy of being misunderstood. I'm hearing the song, um, Oh Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. You put your best foot forward, and it's as if, almost like a Charlie Brown, Lucy Van Pelt would move that football all the way just as you were getting ready to kick it. There were things within your... Um, self-reflection, your idea of who you were. Um, you had to increase your idea of who you are about. Um, you, you must not always feel small. Don't let yourself feel small. You had to get over this. Um, those in the past, people who should have had your back, Taurus, did not. They did not have your back. And who could have this been? Um, people who are close to you, perhaps family, friends, let you down. And um, for some reason, you took this in. You took this energy within because you had a hard time assigning this blame and shame on other people. Um, Taurus, it was not about you. Other people let you down. You did nothing wrong. And you came to understand this in your own time. And I'm so proud of you. How did you do that? Because you went head over heart. You weren't allowing people to play with your emotions any longer. You were there to make sense of it. And that's how you got out of this. 
in a similar energy, we're talking about Stella got her groove back, and there's no gender in tarot. But Pisces, you are about someone's energy was that of always. Well, I'm, I'm watching someone like when you're watching the news and you hear bad, bad things and bad things and negative things and negative things. It's almost like you were um, priming yourself for nightmare scenarios. At one point, you stopped that. Very similar. It's almost like a mirroring energy. Energy. You, you. At one point, you're like, no, I can't live like this. Pisces, you are more about. Let me look at what. If I changed routes, if I changed maybe a job, something, something was just creating negative energy and negative and negative and negative. Perhaps it was the crowd you were hanging around. He, you know, misery doesn't love company; it demands it. And perhaps you were hanging around people who were just feeding into that misery um, narrative. Yeah, so a tower event had to occur. Uh, for some of you, it was like you cut out some people in your life because you had to. It was sink or swim time. You had to let go of these negative energies, these people who had lower level energy. They were dragging you down. Was it easy? No. In fact, you had some conflict in your head, like, um, if I let all these people go, yeah, very much like this, very much like the energy in Taurus. Pisces, you were saying, if I let these people go, um, will I be lonely? Will I be lonesome? Who will be around me? But you will see that, I don't know what that means, but cream rhymes, rises, cream rises to the top. So you're, you're increasing you're increasing. You've always had that great energy, but now it's like nine of pentacles. You're increasing this. Good for you, Taurus and Pisces. And it was at this point where you met each other. Huh, Taurus. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Taurus, it was at this time that you were in this don't tell me, show me kind of mood. And Pisces, it was like, I'm going to tell you and show you. Very interesting. Very flirtatious. The um, energy between the two of you, it's beautiful. I love it. And from, where is this coming from? The universe. The universe is giving you a thumbs up. This is the inspiration. This fire energy from the wands. Let me get, you know, let me get back on that Okay, I heard love train. Let me get back on that love train. It's time to celebrate life again. And but be quiet. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, Taurus. All because of this choice. Both you and Pisces have made this choice to increase your energy, um, to stop hanging around low-level energy people, and to choose happiness. Like the end of the poem, Desiderata, it says, strive to be happy. Meaning, it doesn't, happiness doesn't knock on your door and just say, I'm here, come on, you know, let me come in. You have to strive to be happy, and this is what you chose to do. Queen of Wands, you're going to say what it is you need. You have plans in action, Pisces. You have a, <laughs> you have a proposal of how things should go. You, you long for that loving home. You long for that stability of when I come home, Taurus is going to have this beautiful home. Uh, it's going to smell good, like apple pie, like cookies. Like it's, it's going to be clean. It's going to just be home friendly. Um, I, see, I feel smiles where you had before um, dealt with sarcasm, negativity, barbs, Bar like um, like a fishing hook, I see. Like people just being cruel to be cruel. No longer. You are choosing to reach for your star, Aquarian energy. How brilliant. Right next to the Ace of Wands. That inspiration to reach for the stars. It's gorgeous. In the future, Taurus, you are all about Nine of Pentacles. The card of increase. The card of pre-empress. Getting ready. Or the, the the new world. I was just saying it. Getting ready for your new world. 
and here's your Piscean. Even having this dream before, I'm going to present a world to someone. And here you are. Here are the fixed signs of Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, and Taurus. Oh, it's just such a beautiful, um, it's like a whole new world. So positive. Um, letting, just releasing any negative. Oh, why? Because the sun, the happiest card in the tarot deck, Leo energy. Oh, what comes next? The emperor. So here you have the emperor, Taurus, and the empress. This is indeed a power couple situation. Someone no longer is in the part of, I, I'm not going to defend myself anymore. It is what I am creating it to be, Pisces. You have that loving cup on the way. I'm not faltering. I'm not taking a break. I'm, I'm on my way. And I'm not looking for anything else. I know what I want. I want the king of cups. At the bottom of the deck, even further, is the four of wands. That great, perfect structure, this four of wands structure, can't be disturbed, not even by a tower moment. Let's talk about the empress. This is the card that informs the energy of the read between Taurus and Pisces. How much have you gone through? How much have you seen? I know there, there have been disappointments. And there has been sadness. There has been trauma. Someone here has, um, my gosh, what you have seen, what you have been through. There, there's been a bit of, I can feel of, a little bit of abuse. This won't be for everyone. And when I say a bit of abuse, you know what I'm talking about. You've had to overcome a lot to get to this Nine of Pentacles, Sun card, Empress, Emperor, Energy. Beautiful. Taurus, Pisces. This is brilliant. I want to say have a very Merry Christmas. This is beautiful. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.